Champagne for lovely Sandy. Thank you. We want her in a relaxed mood. Karen? Please. Good. Thank you. Lois! Hi. Thank you for joining us. Well, I guess doing two shows a night with 12 costume changes really keeps you girls running. Mr. Roth, please. I promise you that Mr. Vincenti see that you get back on time. I'll catch you later. Slick. Yeah, I'm on Grady. Yeah, he saw two of your shows. He spent a ton of money and with three gorgeous girls right now. I like the man's style. But Slick, if you don't tell me what's going on here, I'm going to walk over there, kiss everybody nighty night, and go home and go to bed. I'm very tired. Daniel, I don't know any more than what I've told you. I got a call from a London casino to keep an eye on him, OK? Just watch Grady. Slick, I've been watching him for hours. Now, what's he gonna do, card tricks? I've got a feeling he's gonna lead us to this guy, Christopher Vincenti. He's part of Vincenti's entourage. Wait a second, wait a second. Now, who is Vincenti and what entourage? Now, what's going on? I don't know, Daniel, and when I find out, you'll be the first to know, okay? Terrific, I'll be the first to know. Thank you, Mr. Dick Schwartz, sir. Telephone, please. Mr. Dick Schwartz, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. Heard about your Mr. Vincenti. Well, then, I'm sure you must know that he's warm and open and prefers and enjoys the company of beautiful girls. Well, what do you say? A cruise on his boat and a lovely champagne brunch at his home on Lake Mead. OK, I'm sold. But remember, we have a rehearsal this afternoon.
getting paid two hundred dollars a day to water ski and watch beautiful girls. Not a bad way to make a living. Okay, Benzer, get the binoculars. I should be having brunch by now. Yeah, listen, uh, don't you have a rehearsal today? Yeah, in about a half hour. Why? Well, two of your girls from the line are out here at the lake. Some guy named Vincente run at the Baron's house by the lake. They're having brunch right now. One of them's name's uh, Lois, I think. Lois Chambers. Tell those girls to get their tails back in town. They're late as it is. Well, listen, B, is Lois the kind of girl who'd be late for a rehearsal or come up with an excuse and miss it all together? No, not at all. She's never done this before. Uh... Look, I'll try to cover for them. Get them back, OK? OK. Thanks, B. I love your house, Mr. Vincente. Lois, the girl from the Lido that came to the brunch, where is she? You mean Karen? Yeah, I haven't seen her in about half an hour. She told me she felt she had had too much sun, so she went in the house to take a nap. Why don't you go check on her? Okay. Then you and I better leave. It's getting to be about that time. All right. Well, now, before you go, you must have something to eat. You and your girlfriend haven't touched a thing. Well, maybe just a bite. A well, Martin, healthy young lady. can't speak. A very unfortunate accident. But he can and does take very good care of me. This girl went in the house and five or six others went with her. I haven't seen anybody come out yet. Maybe they're in the kitchen cooking lunch. Yeah. I'm hungry. Why don't you wait here? Where are you going? I'm going to a party. You don't have an invitation. Sure I do. Dan, that's breaking and entering. It's also very dangerous. Hey, Benzer, if it were easy, anybody could do it. Aha. I just love garden parties. Isn't that supposed to be funny? Young man, what's the problem? I don't know yet. We got a message for one of your guests, Lois Chambers, but I have to deliver it in person. Well, Miss Chambers was here at the party, but she left some time ago with her friends. Well, if she did, it was through osmosis. Now, you don't mind if I check for myself, do you? You're making a big Not mistake. Not that big. Now, why don't you put that on the table, okay? Why don't we go in and join the party? Anybody home? Hold it right there. All right, Martin. Yes, Martin, it's all right. Don't do anything foolish. It's awfully quiet for a party. Hello? Hello? Why don't we go see what Martin was up to?
All right, hold it right there. Now we're gonna play a little game called Cops and Robbers. I bet you never heard this line before, up against the wall, go on. Find out who he is and what he's doing here. His name is Dan Tanner. He's a private investigator. We better find out what brought him here. He uh, asked about Lois Chambers. Get her. I don't like it. I'm a cautious man. I've always been cautious. That's why I've survived. Years ago, I smelled an ill wind from the mountains, and I escaped in time. I smell it now. We've got to change our plan. We're contracted for 20 girls. We only got 12. The other eight are going to be here at 4 o'clock for cocktails. No, forget the other eight. Tana and that Chambers girl are connected. Now, we don't know if Tana had anyone with him or if he told anyone he was going to be here. Someone may come looking for him. Well, then how do you want to handle it? Our chartered plane lands tonight. We'll load the 12 girls and leave for the Middle East after she's refueled. <laughs> Angie, this is Binzer. Hi, Binzer. Hi. Um, do me a favor, will you? In Dan's desk, I know he has an emergency number for Roth. Find it for me, will you? I, I gotta reach him. Well, what is it? What's the matter? It's Dan. Something's going wrong. Get up. Get up. Don't struggle and don't resist. I wouldn't want to mess up your pretty face. Lower your selling price. Well, my dear, unless you enjoy pain, you'd better answer my questions without delay. Why is Dan Tanner looking for you? Tanner is a detective. He's a friend, and he'll find me. I don't understand why you're doing this to me. Little lady, you as a person have absolutely no meaning. But your body and your looks are worth $25,000 to anyone who's impressed with blonde hair and straight teeth. Throw her in with Tanner. About that girl, Ernestine, the one you were telling me about. You mean the one I set up in the disco business? Yeah. You think she can arrange for a place for the girls to hide until the plane gets here? I don't know. I'll try to contact her and find out. Yeah. Why? Because I wanted this place to be blown up sky high with Tana and that girl in it. And I want it to look like an accident. Good excuse for missing a show, young lady, or B's gonna dock you a day's pay. Well, we've never met, but I, I know who you are. Right now, I think I love you, Dan Diana. Okay, I hope that doesn't mean you're gonna take advantage of this situation. After all, this is our first date. 
I promise I won't. And thank you. I'll be all right now. Lois, do you know what this is about? Vincenti said he's going to sell us like slaves. Okay, it's gonna be all right. We'll get out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. I That's didn't know what you know you. Dan's in a lot of trouble. What do you mean, a lot of trouble? I made a couple of phone calls. But what do you mean, a lot of trouble? What's been happening? Well, nothing's happening. No one's in or out. But what do you mean, a lot of trouble? Come on. What do you mean, a lot of trouble? <laughs> Just uh, forget it. Look, Dan stumbled on a what looks like a slavery connection. Come on, I'm slavery? telling you, they take these girls, these beautiful, luscious girls, and they take them to Europe or they take them somewhere. I don't know. This isn't the 18th century. I'm telling you, that's what's come down. Slave. So look, why don't we call the police? No, 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 we can't call the police. Why not? We but call look, the police. Look, I'm Mr. Roth. Flash, money. But before I was Roth, I was Roth. Now, people tell me things, and I listen, you understand? Yes, I But do. I never say anything because I just don't say anything. Now, uh, if I did, I mean, I wouldn't have any friends. That doesn't mean I do anything that's not legitimate. You understand so. yes, that? I wouldn't think so. So I hear a lot of stuff that comes down. Now, if we call the police, they're going to insist that I tell them the information. Yeah. I can't do that. I don't want to embarrass the Metro uh, Las Vegas Police Department. I mean, they'll give me a citation. I understand That's that. why there's no police. No police. So what do we do? Just that. You and me, we're going to get Dan. What, us? Us. Just the two of us? Just the two of us. Wait a second. I don't have any past. Nobody tells me anything. Nobody listens to me. I, I'm just sort of around. You know what I mean? People say my name and, and they, they smile. Dan is different. Well, I'll go. He's the only friend I have. No, he's not. I'm your friend, Mr. Benzer. Set the explosives in the air conditioning unit. And wire it into the burglar alarm. Just make sure there's no way Tana and the girl can get out of the house before it accidentally blows. When you get back to town, call Ernestine. She'll tell you where we are. See a guard, I'll just tell him I'm kind of uh, gonna surprise the Baron. He's a friend of mine, okay? Fine. You wait Fine. here until I call you. Well, right. I won't go anywhere. Shh. Thank you. 
Just staying alive. Oh. Go on in here and see what happened there. Okay. I'll take care of the garbage. Whoa! No! I... Oh, dear! Oh. I didn't know you liked slumber parties. Come on. The guests were okay, but the host was a little, uh... Listen, Vincent, take Lois back into town, okay? Yeah. Dan, I, I don't know who to thank. Well, we'll talk later, okay? I'm gonna ask this guy on the floor some questions. What time is it? I wouldn't worry about what time it was. You're not going anywhere. What time is it? It's almost three. Why? There's a time bomb set to go off a tree. Let's get out of here. No, no, touch the doors or windows. It'll blow. It's tied into the burglar alarm system. You activated it the moment you closed the front door. Where is it? Where is it? In the upstairs bedroom. The master bedroom, the closet, and the air conditioning. Somebody please turn off that damn alarm. slumber party. Lois will tell you all about it. She's going to be staying with us for a while. Uh, Lois, when somebody stays here for a while, that means there's trouble. Are you okay? I am now, thanks to your boss. I could have been on a free flight to the Middle East. Where's Benzer? He'll be right back to stay with the two of you. He's dropping Judd Grady off at the police department for me. Latch the door. I don't want her left alone. If anyone calls asking for her, you don't even know she exists. Where are you going? I'm gonna go see Bella. <laughs> What a printout. All girls reported missing in the last 10 days between the ages of 16 and 25, and I want it now. 
Well, uh, that... we put out alarms on a guy named Vincent. Oh, you. why ask me? You're the Lone Ranger. The lieutenant's in there, and he's waiting for you with bated breath. I just asked a question. Now, look, Dan, if I were you, I'd get in there, I'm and I'd going, get in I'm there going, fast. I'm going. Now, listen, you watch and see that every single cop is waiting for them at those roadblocks. Tanner, who in the hell do you think you are? And get off of my desk. You send your gopher in here with a story and a suspect that you want me to hold. Hold for what? How about assault? How about attempted murder? White slavery? Take your choice, Dave. Not necessarily in that order. What do you think we are, fools? Now, Domo and Vincente have alarms out on them. I've got this town sealed up tighter than a drum. The airport, the bus station, and there are roadblocks. But what I want to know from you is how did you get in on this? Don't ask me that, Dave. Ask me anything, but don't ask me that. I can hold you for withholding information. I gave you the man with the information, Grady. Ask him. Get off of that! Now, you know him as well as I do. He's like a clam. I get nothing from him. I get zero. But I do have you and the girl. Now, where is she? Well, I'll take care of the girl. The hell do you mean you'll take care of her? She's a material witness. Hey, what am I? Let me tell you something, Tanner. I'm looking for a white slavery rap. Now, what is the DA supposed to do? Put you on the witness stand and tell them that you were for sale to the highest bidder? Alone, all you are is an assault rap. I want that girl. You'll get her when the time is right. She's a corroborating witness. Vincente has tentacles that reach places we don't even know about. She is not safe. When you deliver Vincente, I'll deliver the girl. I'll keep her in protective custody. She's already safe. You either deliver that girl or I'm going to pull your license. So pull it. You've got it. Dressed or undressed, we're pinned into this town, we can't move out. I have people working on that. No city this size can be completely sealed off. We get out after we take care of Tana and that girl, Lois. So far, I've only been a name here. They can give me a face. With them out of the way, we can be free and clear. Who are you calling? Ernestine. She'll know where Tana lives. in the same day, I feel honored. You never seem happy to hear from me. Of course I am. It's just that I never know when you're gonna call. And you never will. You know a Dan Tanner? And if yes, any idea where he lives? Everybody on this trip knows Tanner. He drives a red T-Bird and lives in a converted warehouse. Behind the uh, Nevada State Bank building, near Circus Circus. You will hear from me. may be able to leave this town by tonight. Good question. Listen, I don't lay no grief on you. My uh, chicks don't work your hotels. Well, first of all, let me ask the question first, and then you give me straight answers, and I'm only going to ask once. 
What you so uptight with me for, anyway? I mean, I never did anything to you, personally. Well, the fact that you pimps even exist is becoming very personal with me now. You know what I mean? Well, I'm a businessman. Oh, uh, you're a businessman, huh? That's right. I'm a businessman, just like everyone else is around here. I supply a product for a market. And I wouldn't have any business at all if there weren't any Johns. You know what I mean? So why don't you go change the world somewhere else and get off my case? Not a chance, Lenny. Now, I want to know about some businessmen who were snatching girls and selling them overseas. I don't sell chicks. I rent them. That doesn't mean you don't know. Now, I want some information about a Christopher Vincente and a big black man named Domo. I don't know anything about them, man. I mean, I heard about this guy, Domo. He's death, you know? Lenny, uh, you don't seem to understand. Now, if I don't get some information, I make Domo look like the flying nun. Now, I want you to meet me back here, check your watch, you got two hours, and don't make me come looking for you. Do me something, okay? I'll make a big score. You get a good piece of the action. Yeah. That Domo's back in town again with that, uh, that foreigner, Vincenny. I want you to lead me to him. You got it. What's your game? Seven card knock rummy. Yeah. yeah, and if I were you, I wouldn't say anything. I think she's a mechanic. If we were playing for money, I, I'd have to give her the deed to the ranch. And I'd have to hawk my kids. Listen, if you two have things to do, uh, I've got a couple hours to kill. Yeah, I guess I should check on my kids. You want to come with me, Spencer? Sure, B. Uh, let's call us a tie, okay? Okay. Okay. See you guys later. Okay. Oh, bye. Bye. Bye, dear. See ya. Want a cookie? to talk to me alone. How come you knew they knew? Examining my motives. You know, I'm not sure I did the right thing in bringing you here. The police want to put you in protective custody. I think they're right. You'd be a lot safer there. Isn't that for me to decide? Nope. Made up my mind. I won't do it. At least not until I'm forced to. Dan, I'd have to make a statement. Tell them how we got out of the room. They'd buy bins or opening the door, but... What are you getting at? You're worried about me and your concern for Roth. You want me protected, and do you want him not to get involved with the police? <laughs> young lady, if you told me that you read tea leaves when you were young, I'd believe you. Nope. Watching an ex-pug pouring a shot and a beer for 65 cents in his tap room. My father he taught me a lot about people. You want a sandwich? Bologna, it's my specialty. I'll make you deal. Let me be your house guest for 24 more hours. And if you don't get Vincenti by then, I'll turn myself in.
What's your promise? Protective custody. You've got my word on it, Tanner. When are you bringing her in? As soon as I run a few errands. And Nelson, you better send one of your guys over from Homicide. I got a piece of garbage on my floor. I got better things to do and wait for you all day long. I was just testing you. Get in. It'll be a short ride for short information. We got some information for you, Lenny. You don't have to worry about Domo anymore. What are you talking about? Domo's dead. It has a nice lilt to it, doesn't it? Yeah, he tried to pick up one young girl too many. It can happen, Lenny. Remember that. Connor, why don't you get off my case, man? I mean, really. I know very little. I have nothing to tell you. Look, you don't have to worry about Domo, so you can tell me what you didn't want to tell me before. All I know is that he used to hang out with his hooker named Ernestine. They call her Ernie. She, uh, she owns her own discos. She usually works out of this one called La V, OK? OK. What's this? Get out. How am I going to get back to my car? Walk. You should know better than to accept a ride from a stranger, Lenny. And Lenny, that visit Domo paid me a few cents. I'm just back. Let me talk to Domo. Uh, I'm afraid there's no Mr. Domo here. How about Ernie? Just a minute, please. Hi, uh, Ernie's busy, but I'd be glad to take your order if you wish. What'd you have in mind? Well, some fun. A party for some business friends? I prefer young girls. That's no problem. Hang on a second. In case the doctor of the emergency asked you how you lost your face, tell him Dan Tanner did it. It's all right. I'll speak to Mr. Tanner. Well, I've heard of you, Mr. Tanner. And I heard you know a lot about a guy named Domo. I don't know him. A Domo. Just as well, he's dead. Yeah, I'm looking for his boss, Christopher Vincente. How do I find him? I don't know. I... I can't say anything. And you're part of it. Murder, kidnapping, white slavery. I got Domo, I'll get Vincente, and I'll get you. And if I tell you where Vincente can be found? That'll be the first step. Uh, I'll tell you that and nothing more. All I'll give you is a location. An apartment at 1155 Lenox.
Hello? This is Ernestine. Let me speak to Vincente. Ernestine. Yes, Ernestine. Dan Tanner was just here. He said Domo is dead. He knew about this place. He's looking for you. I've already been given that information. But thank you for calling. Uh, how did Tanner find out? I don't know. Unless he got it from Domo. We're leaving Vegas tonight, and uh, I need your help. I'd appreciate it very much if you'd come over here right now. I have a business to run. It's the only thing that I... I said I'd appreciate it if you came here. I'm on my way. There's no way you can miss Tanner. There's only one way in here. We get out after we take care of Tanner and Ernie. Ernie, too? If Tanner shows, we know Ernie talked. She's mine. <laughs> Why did you set me up? I've had it with you, Mr. Tanner. Ernie, why did you set me up? I was scared. I was a cocktail waitress in Atlanta. And they got me. They used me. Domo liked me. Kept me for his own. I was his own personal toy for his own personal use. He put me into the business only so he could have me around whenever he wanted me. You were still one of the lucky ones. You're still alive and in one piece. I never felt lucky. I was scared, and I'm still scared. Ernie, here's your chance to live a life without being afraid, a chance to get out of all this. I want you to tell me where Vincente is. He's at the Golden Time Club. Thanks. Fool. When he comes in, it should be business as usual. Definitely. saved your life. Ah, yes, the 
detective's work is never done. Burning the midnight oil, Lieutenant Nelson? Hmm. If it isn't the late and great private detective Dan Tanner. You see, that's your problem, Nelson. You got no sense of humor. Watch how loud I laugh when you're parking cars at a desert inn. Now, why are you so upset? It must be the workload that makes you edgy, huh? But I think I've got a solution to your problem. There's only one solution to my problem, Tanner. That's your license. Give it. My license? Your license. You can't be serious. I am serious. Gee, Lieutenant, I sure hope you know what you're doing. Gee, Dan, I usually do. Uh, uh, Nelson, you wouldn't want to affect a trade, would you? What? Lois Chambers, this is Lieutenant David Nelson. Pleasure, Lieutenant. Miss Chambers. Now, not only have I supplied you with your material witness, she types 60 words a minute. She can type her own statement. <sighs> All right, Tanner, you made your trade. Thank you very much. Good night. Miss Chambers. Uh, and Nelson, uh, careful, she has a mean left hook. Close the door. Mm -hmm.